Hey guys, Julia here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create designs for your print-on-demand products. To create the designs, we are going to be using a beginner-friendly design tool named Kittle. I'll leave it linked in the description. It's absolutely fantastic for professional design. You won't have to download anything or learn any advanced complicated software. It's super intuitive to use, it's fun, and I'm really excited to show you how this works. By the way, if you still haven't created a Shopify account, I'll also leave the best current Shopify deal linked in the description. Right now it's at $1 for the first month. Okay, now let's dive in. The first step is opening the Kittle link in the description and creating an account. Once you're inside Kittle, you'll see this page, which is full of templates. These are basically ready-made templates you could start with if you don't want to design something completely from scratch. And up here, you'll see different categories of templates. They do have specific templates for apparel and home items, which are probably going to be the most relevant if you're doing print on demand. Now to show you how this works, I'm going to start with a blank canvas. So let's click on new project. Here, you've got to choose the format of your design. If you're using Printify for print on demand, you could go over here to POD presets and possibly choose one of these products. I'm gonna go with a t-shirt. So let's click on create. And here we have the blank design area. In Kittle, this is called an artboard. Here on the side, you can now choose if you want to add a text, an element, upload your own file, select a stock image, a texture, or use Kittle AI to generate visuals. So let's go through each of these. First, I'm going to add a simple background color for us to create on. So let's click on layers and choose a background color. All right, now if you click on text, You can either create one from scratch or choose one of these templates to start with. So let's go with this template. To change the size, you can grab the edges and drag like this. If you want to change what the text says, you can select this and write your own text. And here on the side, you'll find all of the controls. This is the font selector. So if you want to change the font, you can browse through these options. Here you can also edit the letter spacing. And up here, you can change the font colors. You can also play with the border weight, the border color, and do some creative transformation. I find this one of the coolest features of Kittle. This is very, very cool for print-on-demand design because you can completely manipulate how the letters look. You could use the distort function, rise, wave, flag, or any of these other shapes, and then drag these dots to transform it. You can also use the custom one if you want to have full and complete control over the transformation. Now here under effects, you can also add some shadows, which makes it really nice and realistic. It just adds a bit of depth. The shadows also have tons of controls. You can change the shadow color, position, and blur amounts, which gives it a totally different character. The text editing features of Kittle are really impressive and there are infinite possibilities if you get creative. Now let's have a look at the other elements. 
If we grab one of these shapes, you'll see you'll also have complete control over everything. Colors, border weights, and shadows. If you want to get rid of something, you can simply click to select it and press delete. Here in the elements section, you'll see tons of visual things you could add to your design. The masks are very cool because you can use them to change the shapes of other images. Let me show you how that works. Let's choose this mask and then go here to the images to see what we're going to fill it with. Once you find an image, just drag it to the mask and the image will take its form. And down here, you can choose different textures and backgrounds. To reorder which items appear in front or behind other items, you can go down here to this little list and drag and drop to the order you prefer. So if you move this down, for example, it's going to be behind this other element. And up here, you can change the font colors. If you click down here, you could also try generating something with Kittle AI. All you have to do is type in a text, hit enter, and the AI will generate it for you. You do also have some additional controls down here. You could choose a different image format or even select one of these styles. So if you choose an outline vector, for example, and then click to generate your text, something exactly of that style would come out. Once again, infinite possibilities. So really just go all out and explore all of these features and let your creativity flow. What I find helps me a lot when I'm designing is creating many versions of the same idea. So whenever I have something that I'm happy with, but I still want to explore in different directions, what I do is I duplicate the artboard so that I have that version saved and continue tweaking things in the second version. To do that, what you can do is go to the artboard's title, right click, and select copy. Now go here to the side, right click again, and select paste. You can then repeat this process and create as many pages as you need to. You can then look at all of your variations and see which one is your favorite. And now that we are here in the artboard settings, you'll also see it's possible to change the artboard format either manually or based on these presets. And if you click right up here, you can also draw a new artboard from scratch. And here on the side, you'll be able to adjust the dimensions if necessary. If things are looking too close or too far away, you can adjust the zoom down here. Once your design is ready, just click on download. If this is for print on demand, the highest print quality recommended is at 300 dpi. You can scale it up here. All right, and you are ready to upload your designs to your print on demand products. So if you want to sign up for Kittle, I'll leave a link to a free trial in the description with a discount code you can use if you want to go for a paid subscription. And of course, if you still haven't signed up for Shopify or need any help getting started, I've also got tons of Shopify tutorials to help you with your online store. So I'll also leave the best current deal for getting started with Shopify linked in the description. Right now it's at $1 for the first month. 
and I will be sure to keep all of these links updated so that you have access to the best current offers for getting started. And that's all for now. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out. I'm also curious to hear about your designs, so feel free to let me know how that goes in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, it'll be super, super appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.